All right, for this next one, we have that a group of 130 applicants, okay, applied for admission into either the arts program or the sciences program at, the, at a university. The outcomes of their applications are shown in the following table. All right, so just so that we understand what's going on here, to read the tables, ¿cierto? Those that uh, got accepted into an arts program are 17. Those that got rejected to a sciences program are 64. All right, that is how you read the table. So for part A, we need to find the probability that a randomly chosen applicant from this group was accepted by the university. All right, so the the cool part about this problem is that it's very, it is super visual, see? So be, when you have a table like this and you're dealing with probability, I think the visual aspect for you visual learners, learners out there is gonna help, help a lot, see? Now, the thing about probability in general, okay, is that you need to really focus on the following sort of concept, see? When you're searching for the probability of something, you always have the part, and then you have the whole, okay? Really think about what is the part of the whole you're trying to go for, see? And so, the quote-unquote whole, okay, my total, is 130 applicants. All right, so we're going to start there. So, for part A, ¿cierto? Um, the probability has to have 130 on the bottom, okay? Because we are snatching someone from either of these four, ¿cierto? From the whole group, from the 130 applicants that we have. All right, cool. Then they tell you that they were accepted, see? So which ones were accepted? These two, right? Because we're looking at the accepted column, the ones that were accepted were 17 and 25. So I can go ahead and put 17 plus 25 over here, and I end up with 42 over 130, which is roughly 32.30%. So that is for part A, see? Really keep in mind the whole part over whole thing. Then it gets a little weird. They tell us that an applicant is chosen at random from this group, and it is found that they were accepted into the program of their choice. So for part B, right, we need to find the probability that the applicant applied for the arts program. Now, the hardest part about probability is thinking how to approach the problem, see? And so initially, ¿cierto? we had an applicant that is chosen around the, from the group, right, for part A, and was accepted, right? Here, we have that someone was chosen from the, from the group and they were also accepted, see? And we need to find the probability that of these guys that were accepted, they applied to the arts program. So I'm gonna say that again. Be very careful about what I'm saying, see? The guys that we're looking for, ¿cierto? My new hole, okay? It's not the 130. It's the ones that were already accepted, see? So of those that were accepted, how many are in the arts program? Ah, so my whole, ¿cierto? Is what I'm gonna put now in purple. Of those that were accepted, how many were in the arts program? All right, so keeping that in mind, of those that were accepted, we have 17 plus 25 divided by those that were the, are in the arts program, which is just 17. So this is gonna be 17 over 42 which is roughly 40.47%, uh, see? So again, it's really hard to approach this problem because how you think about it is the key sort of thing, okay? For part B, you really need to identify that you're, there's a new hole, ¿cierto? It's less than before. It's not 130 anymore. It's only the ones that were already accepted into something, see? This right here, actually, if you want to identify it in the following way, is conditional probability, see? And the key idea... I'm going to actually pull up the formula. The key idea of conditional probability is that your whole gets changed. Your whole, okay, your whole gets smaller. See? Because now we're not just looking at those that apply to the university. We're looking at those that only got accepted. See? And so actually you can use this formula as well to figure it out. I personally think it's better to approach it from a 
visual perspective if you can. See? So notice how in purple, ¿cierto? Is my denominator, it's my new hole, and then red is what I chose. See? Uh, applying this visual aspect for part A, it would be like this. This is my hole, and my part were those that got accepted, so just these two. See? All right. Having that in mind, let's move on to part C. They tell us that two different applicants are chosen at random from the original group. Find the probability that both applicants apply to the arts program. So I need to pick two in a row. See? Now, because we have two in a row, let's go one by one. ¿cierto? So for the first one, see, um, or actually, let me phrase it differently. See? If I picked two that applied to the arts program, notice that it's just applied. See? Keyword applied, not accepted, just applied. The ones that apply, ¿cierto? Or my total. My total is this whole thing. And the ones that are applied are these two. See? Because it's just arts program, right? So my part is going to be what's in red, and my whole is going to be what's in purple. So for the first guy, ¿cierto? We're going to have uh, 17 plus 24 divided by what's in purple, which we know the total is 130. So that is going to be the first guy. See? Now, because we're talking about two guys in a row, okay, I'm going to go ahead and multiply. I'm going to explain that in a second. See? Why you multiply and when you add. All right? In probability, and when you find yourself saying the word and, it's going to be multiply. And when you find yourself saying the word or, it's going to be add. And so for part C, if I force myself to think in these like probabilistic terms or whatever, the probability that both applicants apply to the arts program means that um, I am having the probability of one applying to the arts program and another applying to the arts program. So notice the keyword and here, see? Because I put and, I'm going to have this multiplication here, see? And what is the probability of one guy applying to the arts program? Well, it is right here, see? Now, the probability of another, ¿cierto? Applying to the arts program, a lot of you might say, ah, oh, it's the same thing, ¿cierto? 17 plus 24 divided by 130. And this is slightly, slightly wrong, see? Take a moment and think why this might be slightly, slightly wrong. It's slightly, slightly wrong because the second time around, the second guy you're picking, you already picked one that already applied, see? So actually what you need to do is subtract one from your population and from the ones that applied, see? And so I know this looks a little bit weird, but you do the math and it ends up being 41 over 130 times 40 over 129, see? So notice what the minus one here did. It made this smaller up top, see? So yeah, that is for part C. Notice that when you catch yourself saying and you multiply, when you catch yourself saying or you add. So this is going to be a very big number, but if you follow your calculator, it gives you this, which roughly is just going to be around 9.779%. So that is for part C and for number two in general.